Get my cutter, get my torch Pour a beverage and I step out on the porch Grab a cigar, I love that view I guess it's time for another Poolside Cigar Review <laughs> How you doing everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews with Kirk Tonight I'm coming at you with a weeknight format, however, believe it or not, when I'm filming this, it is Saturday night. I wanted to film a full review today, but it was really windy, and, um, you know, unless the conditions are right, I don't like to smoke a cigar, so if it's too windy, I'm not going to go outside and tough it out. Um, I would rather just not smoke if it's not right, because I love cigars, but I, I, I hold them in reverence, and... I'm not going to go outside if it's windy and smoke a cigar. I, to me, it's almost disrespectful to uh, to cigars to do that. Um, you know, it's not it's not a need, it's a want. And the conditions have to be right for me to enjoy a cigar. Uh, tonight, I'm coming at you with a cigar already burning, just like a weeknight. It's the uh, Hoy de Nicaragua 1970 Antonio. Fantastic cigar. I've, uh, I've featured it on weeknight editions before, but I've never done a full review. I may or may not. I'm sure someday I'll get to it. But um, it's a fairly straightforward cigar. Not a lot of transitions. Not a ton of depth, but great flavor. Um, you know, it brings it. It's a go-to cigar for me. Mm. Delicious. But I'm not going to go into picking flavors tonight because the topic of tonight's video is go to, we'll just call it go to drinking cigars. Um, if you watch my videos, you'll find that I preach moderation and I fully believe that and it's the way to go. You know, if I drink scotch, one dram or two, good. Um, you know, when it comes to beer, quality over quantity. However, that was kind of destroyed tonight because of this. This is the Mission Brewery Shipwrecked Double IPA. Um, it's a, again, it's a double IPA from Mission Brewery in San Diego. Great beer. 9.25% alcohol, so fairly high. But... You would expect that in a double IPA. However, it's the serving size that'll get you. I started drinking this uh, when I was getting my daughter in the bath, and it'll it'll get the job done. Um, this is not a moderate volume of drinking. Um, my wife's at work, so I did finish it. Um, but it's got like a, I mean, this has got like, this is like a malt liquor serving size. It's a quart. It's a quart can. So it's it's 50% uh, bigger than a tall boy. It's a big can. And you might be able to tell. I'm a big guy. I'm, I'm actually six foot eight, if you didn't know. Um, it's a big can. And uh, it doesn't carry a malt liquor price tag. This is like eight bucks. Really great beer, but large. For 9.25 percent alcohol so i would say this is equivalent to like drinking a bottle of um it's like equivalent to drinking a bottle of cabernet i would say you know it's not an inordinate and and in order whatever it's not a shit ton of alcohol but uh but it's enough to uh to put a little rose in your cheeks and to uh keep you from doing anything else you need to get done in the evening And of course, after you drink a can like that, you want a cigar, and uh, it's beautiful tonight. It's a great night. And when you want a cigar, you want another beverage. So I grabbed the Black IPA from the Santa Fe Brewing Company from our pals in New Mexico. How cool is that? Kind of a Native American symbol there. I don't know if uh, any Native Americans drank black IPAs. 
But this is a beautiful black IPA coming in at 7.1% alcohol. Gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of black IPAs. And I'll go ahead and pull that full circle to this uh, JDN Antonio 1970. To me, this is a go-to drinking stick because it's got enough flavor that even if you've had a few, you're still going to taste it. Especially if you're drinking... IPAs. You know, IPAs aren't generally a great pairing beer. They're very strong, very bitter, and they, to me anyway, they tend to fry my palate. I mean, after you drink a quart of a double IPA, that's a lot of hops. That's a, that's a lot of bitter. It tends to cook your palate a little bit, and then even pairing with a with the black IPA, which has the same bitterness, but with some, with some roasty, toasty, malty notes, um, kind of coffee... You know, burn malt, toasted malt, not burn, toasted malt flavors that can kind of drown out a cigar. However, the Shady in 1970 holds up. It gives me that tobacco flavor. A little bit of cocoa, maybe. It's very hard to tell. Uh, definitely don't pay too close of attention to the flavor notes I'm giving you because while generally I think that pairing with the cigar doesn't really affect your ability to enjoy the cigar or pick out flavor notes, I've had two really powerful beers. I mean, there's always um, a sliding scale of reasonableness with anything. I mean, if I were sitting here like chowing down on habanero peppers, you probably wouldn't want to trust my palate. And, and, and an IPA is kind of like a habanero pepper of beer, more or less. I mean, it's really, really strong flavor-wise. Sorry about that. My phone rang. Um, I filmed these videos on my phone. But um, alcohol is also an anesthetic. So when you're drinking, if you're drinking a lot, it will anesthetize your tongue to prevent you from tasting a cigar. But again, moderation will take care of that. But um, but to me, this JDN is a go-to cigar if I've been drinking. And tonight, that kind of qualifies. Am I hammered? No. Would I want to drive anywhere? No. Um, but uh, but I've had a couple, and I'm really enjoying the cigar. And I'm enjoying some music. It's a pretty good night, so I just wanted to check in with you guys since it's been uh, been a little while since I put up a video. Say hello and let you know that this is uh, this is definitely a go-to drinking stick. My JDN Antonio 1970, love it, great cigar. Let me know, do you have a go-to drinking stick? You know, sometimes uh, you know when you're having a few or a few too many. It's nice to grab a cigar. I think I think I get that from my days as a cigarette smoker. You know, years ago I used to smoke cigarettes, and uh, anybody who smokes cigarettes knows, man, nothing goes better with booze than cigarettes. And uh, while I certainly don't feel like I have an addiction to cigars, actually I know I don't have an addiction to cigars. Uh, if I'm having a few brewskis and I'm starting to feel a little bit of a buzz, I definitely, I definitely start to crave a cigar. So let me know. What do you go to if you've been drinking? Anyway, everybody, it was great talking to you. I love stopping in, saying hi. And uh, I hope all of you are very well. And I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. And I can't wait to hear from you. So uh, until next time, everybody, keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Take care. Don't back down, as Tom Petty says. Have a good one.